Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 124 for Wednesday, November 16th, 2016. Gallery Tools. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. I got the new Google Pixel phone a few weeks back, and it comes with a pretty unbeatable offer. Unlimited, full-resolution photo uploads to Google's own Google Photos service. It's fantastic for backing up my collection to the cloud automatically, and there's no quality hit. It's all full resolution. It also requires me to stay locked into Google Photos as my gallery, at least in some sense. Otherwise, those automatic backups might not happen. But not everyone is in love with Google Photos. There are alternatives. Today, I'm featuring two of those alternatives, as well as an app that might help you trim some of the fat from your collection. Let's check them out in this week's roundup of gallery tools. One of the sharpest looking gallery replacements to come out in the past year is Focus. It's developed by Francisco Franco and Liam Spradlin, who both have an excellent portfolio of work leading up to this app. There are many gallery apps that adhere closely to the material design spec, and Focus does as well. But as you can see in this mainstream of images on my device, Focus does things just a little bit differently, taking elements from material that unify, but also giving the app its own personality. In my opinion, that's the right approach when it comes to the spec. Each separate folder on my device has its own heading, along with a nice little icon that represents the service it stems from, if that's available to the app. I can tap any folder and a nice animation kicks in to bring that folder to the forefront. Tapping an image brings it full screen as you would expect. Okay, that's all pretty standard, but when you pay the $1.99 for the premium version, you start to see some great differentiators. First, this tagging feature allows for quick organization of your images with preset and custom tags. Those tags can actually be found in the side slide out tray when you need them. You can also manage those tags and how they appear in your feed with the hide show collections section. Back to the side slide out tray, you'll also notice a section called the vault. This is a password or fingerprint protected area of the app that protects selected images from prying eyes. Premium users also get more theming options and there's a few other options in there to boot. Find focus in the Play Store right now. If you want a gallery that has tons of bells and whistles and adheres closely to the baseline material design spec, then you might wish to find F-Stop Gallery. Here is the main folders list with folders of a number of different view options up top there that I can change up uh, to my own choosing. When I tap into a folder, a nice swooping animation kicks off, but it doesn't slow down the experience in the process, which is very nice. Critical. Long tapping an image brings it into full screen mode and doing that again shows more images from the folder down below along with file information, which you can actually modify to show only the details that you want in this set panels section. The overflow menu reveals all sorts of edit capabilities and a slideshow option is there as well. But let's go back out and show the side slide out tray, which has a number of different ways to pull up your photos. If you've tagged any images, you can narrow your view here, but also this places section that shows your photos on a map if you happen to have recorded the location information and, and attached those to the images. There are a number of other ways to isolate your images and videos, but you also have this protected section. If in the main view you've selected a thumbnail and then chosen for it to be protected, it will now appear within this password protected area of the app. Sorry though, no fingerprint support for access. Not yet anyways. There's also cloud storage support for moving your media into Dropbox or Google Drive. You've got more features included with the premium upgrade, which includes wider edit options for metadata of your images, uh, custom support and navigation drawer options, many themes, smart albums, and a whole lot more. Find F-Stop Gallery in the Play Store for free with a premium upgrade that's now on sale, 40% off at $2.99. 
I take a lot of photos. Probably the majority of the space eating up my phone at any given moment is by photos and videos that I've recorded and not managed after the fact. If I backed up all of those photos, I don't necessarily need them on my device anymore in all cases anyways, or maybe some of the photos I've taken just aren't very good. That's when I check in with Gallery Doctor. That's an app that will help you analyze the photos on your device to see what should stay and what can go. Here's the main screen for Gallery Doctor with a gallery health reading there up top, along with the total amount of space available on the phone. Uh, below that, a few categories are displayed. There's bad photos, which are pictures Gallery Doctor thinks might not be very long for this world, be it too blurry, too dark, poor quality, whatever the case may be. Similar photos represents duplicates, which you can absolutely trim at least one of safely. Long videos take up a ton of space. So if those are offloaded, they can go. Screenshots probably don't need to stick around very long either. You don't need those backed up to the cloud, I'm guessing. In all, Gallery Doctor presents pictures and videos it thinks you might not want anymore. And once you're ready to make the call, you can tap into the category and then tap review and clean to look at all of the determinations and either delete them or trim the selection so you don't get rid of something you love. There's also the photos for review, uh, which shows some images from your camera roll that you can swipe left and right on in order to keep or trash them. You know, just kind of keeping things trim in an easy to use fashion. That ought to keep your gallery just a bit cleaner and your storage a bit lighter. Find Gallery Doctor in the Play Store right now for free. But it doesn't end there. Oh no, Google actually just released a new app that is fuel for your gallery, and we're going to look at it right now. It's this week's big app. So back on episode 100, I reviewed an app called Heirloom that was aimed at helping users restore old photographs, as in the ones on photo paper. You remember those, right? Well, now Google is getting into that game because, you know, the more photos you scan, the more stuff you're likely to keep on their servers. The new app is called PhotoScan, and it solves some pretty consistent problems with snapping digital pictures of your printed pictures with a camera on your phone. If you've done it before, you know that glossy prints reflect light, and that can obstruct the view of those old prints. You want the light above the image to get the best illumination, but that results in a hotspot or a reflection of you within that image when you take a picture of it. Well, PhotoScan implements computational photography to fix this problem. So, for example, we have our print on the table. We take the initial snapshot of that image with our phone's camera. And now we're presented with four different points within the image that we must align our camera with to capture the photo at different angles. Doing so shifts those aberrations like light and reflection around the main image that you took uh, that we're trying to capture, essentially. Once we do that, some processing takes place, and what we end up with is an image of that print with no reflections, no light hot spots, none of those at all. Photoscan analyzes the image underneath and then the various differences to that image from each angle and then smashes it all together to come up with a primo print, complete with automatic cropping around the edges of the print. Very cool stuff. Find PhotoScan in the Play Store right now for free. All right, so that tool is fantastic if all you have is your phone's camera. But honestly, if you have hundreds and hundreds of photos, stacks of them like I do, PhotoScan could take you a really long time to pull it all off. You might be best to just use your auto document feeder on a printer with a built-in scanner and see if the quality suffices for you there. It's maybe a bit better at cranking through tons of old photos if time is of the essence. Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv or you can always post those to the subreddit. That's androidapparena.reddit.com. The show plays every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following tech news today at twit.tv slash live and new episodes will appear later in the evenings in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.